guys, welcome back to Ed's Garage. Today I'm going to Hyundai Navigation or Infotainment System. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is a flash drive. Now I'm using a SD card in a USB stick adapter here, but uh, basically you just need a 32 gigabyte USB storage device uh, or higher. 32 is the minimum. And you need to format it for XFAT. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you haven't done so already. So let's get started. In, there we go. All right, so it comes up. You can see the page is currently blank. Uh, I'm going to go back into the this PC folder here. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on Windows. Uh, on Mac, it's going to be a little bit different, but um, yeah, if you have access to a Windows PC, uh, you'll be able to watch along and follow along here. So here's our uh, USB drive. I'm going to right click it, brings up this menu here. I'm going to go to format. And then under format, uh, we have the option to choose the file system. So that's right there. Uh, sorry, I know you probably can't see that from here. So let me zoom in a little bit. <laughs> zoom in a bit. Uh, so you can choose NTFS or XFAT. We're going to leave it on an XFAT. And we're going to leave everything else as default. Keep this on quick format and then hit start. And it'll be really, really quick on quick. So there we go. And we'll close that. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually download the updater. All right, so to do that, we're going to open up a browser. Now, whether you use uh, Edge or Chrome or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but go ahead and click up in the address bar here. And you're going to type in update.hunday.com. And then hit enter. And it brings you to this website here. Now, very, very important. Make sure you click on where it says the, uh, the country that you're in and put it on the country that you're in. Now, we're in Canada, of course. Now, there's basically a couple places here we can go. We can either go to this right here uh, where you can actually choose exactly which update you want. Or if you have built-in navigation, this would be the one to click on. Even if you don't, I believe this one will still do it as well. But this, this video is mainly for systems with built-in navigation. So we're going to hit start here. And now it wants to download. And here's where you, basically the difference is if you're on a Mac PC, then you want to click on that. Obviously, we're going to click on for Windows. And you notice it starts to download the top right corner here. And we're going to wait for that to finish. All right, now, when it finishes, depending on the browser that you're in, uh, you might have a little kind of finish icon up here for your downloads, a uh, little picture of an arrow pointing down. On Chrome and Edge, it's basically the same place. Uh, and it shows our navigation updater installer right here. So we can now hit open file. Uh, if you don't know where it downloaded to, um, usually it's just going to be in downloads. So we can go to our little folder icon at the bottom here, open that up, and then downloads. And it's going to be in here. There's, there's actually listed for today. Now we're going to run that. So we can either double click here or we can also go ahead and click open file here as well. So either way, that's the folder or that's the file that you need to open. So double click that. All right, there we go. So software comes up. Of course, we hit yes here to allow this device or app to make changes to the device. And again, choose the country that you're in. Hit next. And in this case, it's a Hyundai that we're updating. Next. Choose your language. Hit next. Accept the license agreement. Hit next. Create a shortcut. Absolutely. Hit next. And there it goes. Now it's installing the updater. And here, yes, we want it to make changes. So we'll hit yes again. And get rid of some of the stuff on the screen here. All right, uh, when this comes up, just hit OK, because uh, basically it'll default to uh, the downloads NAU folder uh, for the download of the actual update. That's fine. And we'll just hit OK on this as well. All right, so here's where we actually choose the vehicle that we're updating. So in this case, we're going to be updating an Ionic 6, a 2023 Ionic 6. And then it uh, basically is asking where we want to put the update. Well, we want to put it in that G drive because that's the drive that we plugged in, a little USB stick. Um, so 
Here it says data size 17 gigabytes, required space 38 gigabytes. So what it's going to do is it's going to download the update to the hard drive, the computer's hard drive, um, and then it's going to install it on the USB stick, uh, and it's about 17 gigabytes that's going to go onto the USB stick. So that's why you have to have a 32, because the next smallest size is a, a 16, so that wouldn't work. All right, so we're going to hit next. And we're going to confirm the selection here and say, yep. All right, so it's going to format it again. That's okay. We'll do that. Yes. All right, so this is going to take a little while now. Uh, so it says here, downloading time remaining, more than 30 minutes. So we'll stop video for now and come back when this is done. All right, so when it's all done downloading and copying over to the uh, USB stick drive, Basically, this is what you should see on the screen. So it says the latest uh, version of the navigation software has been downloaded. Not only that, it has been downloaded onto the USB stick. And you can see here it says close the program after deleting temporary files. Uh, from here, if you want, you can go to installation instructions and they'll kind of walk you through how to do it on the car. But of course, that's what I'm here for. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close the program after deleting temp files because I don't need this file anymore. And the other reason to do this closing the temp files is because if for whatever reason this update doesn't work, I'm going to want it to download new files, not use the existing files that have already downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. However, before we eject the USB stick from the computer, we want to do that in the software. So I'm going to go down here. Basically, you got to look for the, uh, for the drive icon, which is this guy right here. This is external external drives uh, right here. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to go eject USB storage. Now, if you can't find that anywhere, you can also do that from within the folder for this PC, so go to this PC. And let's just assume that uh, one of these drives was that one. It's not in here anymore because I've already ejected it. But if I were to right click this, there'd be an eject in here as well. Uh, if this was the external USB stick drive, okay? So just give me an idea, that's another way to do that. All right, so we are now sitting in the Ionic 6. Now, this is gonna be pretty much the same procedure for almost any uh, Hyundai from this point on. Uh, but basically, I've got my flash drive and we need to find the USB port that's connected directly to the infotainment system. In the Ionic 6, it is this one down here. So it's the same one you use for Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Um, so if you're used to using either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on your vehicle, that's essentially where you want to plug this in. So the next step is to plug this in. So let's do that. And you'll notice it says uh, no supported files and immediately comes up with the start navigation system update. Now, if it doesn't come up with this, then what you need to do is go into the setup. So you'd hit the setup button on the screen in the Ionic 6 and Ionic 5, for instance, basically you would swipe left a couple times, have a setup button, uh, and then you go into general firmware update and then you can, or uh, sorry, general, and then um, on the main page of general, you'll actually see software update. In this case, it just picked it up right away. And it says update now, update after vehicles turned off. Uh, in this case, I want to keep the car running. I, I just feel more comfortable just leaving the car running and doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there it goes. Update will start soon. So at this point, it's just a waiting game. Uh, this update's going to take a while. So I'm just going to leave the car running while it's doing it. Most of the time, these updates take... Um, you know, anywhere between 15 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on the size of the update and how many different things it's actually updating. Um, but yeah, we've been sitting here now for about a minute and it still says update will start soon. So we'll give it a second and see what it comes up with. All right, look at all those fingerprints. <laughs> so it's gone ahead and rebooted the system here. So basically what it was doing there what, when it said update will start soon was probably copying some of the, uh, the update information over. So now it says it'll continue even if the vehicle's off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. Technically, you can drive the vehicle at this point. So Hyundai's updates don't restrict the vehicle necessarily. Um, eventually, there might be updates that do. But in this case... Uh, this one, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and start the car. Now, it says that the the radio obviously isn't going to work. The rear camera is not going to work. Um, 
but that's okay. Uh, I don't really need those for basic driving. In this case, uh, I'm not going anywhere, uh, and this is how I would recommend doing the update. Do it when you don't have to go anywhere for an hour. Um, now, there are, of course, over-the-air updates as well for certain Hyundai vehicles, the Ionic 6 included, but in Canada at this point, point unfortunately they're not doing any over the air updates yet so that's coming down the line eventually uh, and in the united states they are however you do need to get at least the first update for the 26 uh sorry for the 23 ionic 6 um, the first update is necessary in um, some cases to, to get the first initial over the air updates so so that's what we're doing so um, yeah we'll see how this goes all right, so it's been about 40 minutes. This one took a long time to do. Uh, and you'll know it's done because it, it basically just says, what's new, after it does a reboot. So um, if we want, we can tap on details here to see exactly what has changed. Uh, so this one, when your route encounters traffic, system automatically calculates and displays comparative time distance of an alternate route. Navigation system always ensures that you can see how fast your current route is. And then we have system continuously or consistently guides you to the optimal route regardless of location time, blah, 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 blah. So it's basically some navigation stuff. And let's see here. A system automatically closes windows when your vehicle enters a tunnel to prevent external air from entering. So that's a new one. That's interesting. Uh, and then, of course, you have to enable that. And then number three on U.S. vehicles. Now you can conveniently purchase parking tickets through the navigation system. Well, I can't use that. And Sounds of Nature 3, created by Jung Jail, the acclaimed music director behind Hits, <laughs> Hits Parasite and Squid Game, experienced new soundtracks. So new soundtracks in Sound of Nature. Uh, the EV menu in the split screen has been updated using split screen, easily check information, charging stations, blah, 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 blah. And then you can quickly switch between radio channels by entering desired frequency using the numeric keypad. Okay, so... A couple new things, nothing too fancy, uh, nothing that I really care about, to be honest, but it's nice to have the uh, the latest updates. Um, I'm definitely going to turn on the tunnel thing, even though I don't actually generally drive with the windows open, but I think that's a cool feature because, yeah, the tunnels are kind of smelly, and it does actually turn on the recirculate already when you drive through tunnels, so that's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I'll definitely uh, definitely use that, and I might check out the new sounds of nature as well as a matter of fact um why don't we check that out now let's go to media here and sounds of nature so let's go to list okay yeah so let's see this is new see i don't i don't really like the sounds of nature because it's you know as soon as they add music in it's no longer a sound of nature it's just music so I don't see the point of that. Anyway, I hope this uh, this video was informative and helpful. Uh, and if it was, by all means, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for future videos. You'll uh, want to click the bell icon as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care.